How to change your EOS, Telos, Warbly, Boss, Account Keys using Scatter. Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. My name is Rob. In this one, we are going to cover how to change your EOS, Telos, Warbly, Boss, Account Keys using Scatter. So to start off, you do need a Scatter desktop installed and open and running. So here I have my Scatter desktop installed, open and running. And in order to change the keys, you first need to generate keys. Here, I will leave this linked in the description. We have the creator of Scatter's key generation tool. All you have to do is come down and click generate EOS key and it generates you a new public and the corresponding private key to use. You can do this just online like I did here, but the safest way you can also download this code and run it offline. A second option is from EOS Cafe, their EOS key generator. You would come to their GitHub page and go to releases and download and run the key generator installer here. And that looks something like this. Once you download it and run it, you get something like this where you can generate a key, validate the key, find public key, etc. So this runs offline, but you do have to download and install it. The easiest way is to use the EOS key generation tool here and this one's already generated a key like we saw earlier you can refresh the page and generate another key if you're going to change both keys so this is for any EOS chain that uses the EOS public key a public key that starts with EOS this can be done with and once you have a key let's go ahead and download these keys here so we can use this as an example Paste those in. Now is the time to write down and save your private key. If you lose this private key after you change your keys, you will lose access to your account. So it's very important. So in order to change the EOS key, I will be using blocks.io. In order to change the warbly key, I'll be using warbly.blocks.io. In order to change the boss key, that will be done through boss.blocks.io. And for Telos keys, we're using telos.eosx.io. So for EOS, Warbly, and Boss, the process is the same here on blocks.io. What you would do is come to the wallet section up here, click the wallet button, and then come down to the change permissions under account. Click change permissions here. This gives you the option for inputting a new owner key as well as a new active key. So you will be connecting via scatter up here in the corner, log in via scatter. And in order to change the active key, you can just have the active account attached at active. But in order to change the owner key, you do need at owner attached and at owner can change both the owner and the active. So using scatter login up here in the corner, go ahead and click that and scatter pops up right here. Now the, Scatter pop up here only shows at active. So these are all just at active logins. In order to see at owner, come over here to show all. Click show all. And now here you get a list broken down by at active, at active, at active, and at owner. So send EOS to Rob at active could only change the active key. Send EOS to Rob at owner could change both the owner and the active key. So let's just, I'm going to click on send EOS to Rob at owner for this example. So now I'm logged in, send EOS to Rob at owner. This gives me the ability to change both owner and active keys. And in order to do so, you just go back to the key you generated. And this is, we, we will be inputting public keys. So the public key starting with EOS. So if I wanted to change the active key, I would copy this public key paste it in, click change permissions, and then verify via scatter, and that would change the active key for the send EOS to Rob account. Since I am logged in at owner, I could also change the owner key, so I would paste in the generated public key I created right here using this tool, 
use that public key, paste it in, click change permissions, scatter will pop up, you confirm using scatter, and then that will change your owner key. And you can also change both keys if you would like to do so at the same time. I prefer doing one at a time, just so I know everything went smoothly. But in the case of changing both, come back to the key generator tool, generate a new key, public and private, and we'll, just for this example, paste this in. Now, you can see the private keys here. I am not going to be using these keys. You will never show your private keys to anybody. That is how you control your account. So here's the second key I generated. If I wanted to change both at the same time, copy that in and paste it here. So now I have a different owner and active key. I could click change from change permissions. Scatter would pop up. I would confirm via scatter and that would change the owner and active key to these two keys. So I'm going to log out of here now since I'm not actually going to change the keys. The same is done for Warbly using warbly.blocks.io same method go to wallet and then change permissions that brings you to this page where you can input a new owner key new active key same, same is done for boss using boss.blocks.io come to wallet go to change permissions you're you're given this screen where you can input a new owner and active key and then for telos blocks does not have a telos portal so i'm using telos.eosex.io here I already have my scatter connected here at active so I'd only be able to change the active key. Here you come to wallet, then go to permissions and that is this page. Here you can input a new owner key and new active key, hit update auth and scatter would pop up and you'd confirm it. It is also important to note that you do want to keep your old keys for any new EOS chain that uses a snapshot from when you had your old keys. So again guys, for all these chains, if you are connected via scatter at active, you can only change the at active key. The only you can only change the active key. If you are attached at owner, you can change both the owner and the active key. But there you go guys, that's how you change your EOS Telos Warbly Boss account keys using scatter. I'll leave a link to the EOS key generation tool here uh, as well as the EOS Cafe key generation tool. I'll leave a link to the GitHub page here as well if you want to go that route. And I'll leave a link to blocks.io. From blocks.io, here, this is EOS mainnet we are on. You use this to change your EOS keys. You would then go to wallet, change permissions. And from up here, you can also get to Warbly and Boss. So to change your Warbly and Boss account keys there. And I'll leave a link to telos.eosx as well. From, from telos.eosx.io, go to the wallet permissions tab. And here you will have to attach scatter identity, attach the identity you want to change the keys on. So if you guys enjoyed this video or found it helpful, please drop a like. It means a lot. And if you're not subscribed already, hit that subscribe button and click on that notification bell. But that's going to do it for me for this tutorial. I'll see you guys in the next one. And as always, stay living that crypto money life.